Israel against Moldova, round number 9 of Chess Olympiad 2024. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, your Grandmaster in this YouTube channel and today we will be watching the match between Israel and Moldova in the ninth round of the 2024 Chess Olympiad in Hungary. Let's see if our beloved team managed to bounce back after the loss to Cuba. Let's get started. And before I will start to see the games, I will tell you guys that my father and mother came from Moldova. To, so it's you know for me it's a derby, but of course Israel is always in my heart. So let's see. C4, you know, Magnus. Magnus is like Magnus. Maxim Rochten with the black pieces in our first board of our national team against Grandmaster Ivan Shitku. Shitku, yeah, I hope I pronounce it right. So, knight f6, knight f3, e6, g3, d5, bishop g2, something around the Catalan, but now d takes c4 was played by Max. Queen a4, knight b7, queen takes c4, and now a6. Black really wants to play the move c5, b5, and bishop b7, and if he succeeds to do it, everything is under control. So queen c2 was played, c5, and now knight c3, and queen c7. Here if you're playing the move b5 immediately, I think knight e5. And now you have some problems because the rook is under attack, and each, each move you will play with the rook, knight c6 with the fork, right? Um, so yeah, this is a problematic for you. So he played the move queen c7, maybe preparing the move b5 with bishop b7. Castle b6. Um, I don't know why not to play b5 immediately, but maybe a4, b5, knight, b4, of course, knight e4, knight d1, with knight e3, knight c4, and a5. I don't know, I, I, in my opinion, maybe b5 was a little bit better, but let's see. b6 was played, d4, bishop b7, bishop f4, and now bishop d6, uh, takes, takes, and rook f d1, and castle, it seems that Maxim is doing perfect here, no no need to, to be afraid of something, everything is under control. e4, of course e5, this is the threat, so c takes d4, knight takes and queen c7. And you know, he thought about queen c7 22 minutes, Maxim Rochten. And the point of course is just to avoid from this open file, and the next moves will be very easy. Rook a c8, knight e5, b5, knight c4, knight f d8, I really like this position. So white play the move rook a c8, a c1, rook a d8, I thought maybe to play rook a c8, uh, but in this position, I don't know, it's, it looks right, queen b8, queen a8, maybe in some ideas with b5, and the e4 will be very weak. So rook a d8 was played, queen e2, and now queen b8, b4, g6, g6, the point behind g6 is maybe to play the move e5, and after e5, and f5 is a little bit annoying, so g6, prophylactic move about the f5 square, and also uh, bring us a window for the king on g7. So we play the move a4, and now rook c8, you know, because of this move, rook c8, I feel like maybe rook a c8 was a bit, a little bit better in, in this position, uh, you know, uh, in the position that we thought about after rook a c1, just play rook a c8 and, you know, rook f d8, and these two rooks will be just great here, but okay, Maxim is going for this one, and now rook c8 is coming back, a b5, a, a takes b5, knight d b5, this square on d6 is a, a little bit weak, but rook c5, you don't need to be afraid of nothing, knight e6, just bishop c6, f4 was played, this was a, a you know, a just unbelievable mistake, blunder by Ivan, um, and he played it very fast, you know, the point was just to, to push e5, of course, and uh, to control the d6 square for the knight, but he, he forgot about bishop takes a4, a great sacrifice, because after knight takes a4, rook c1, rook c1, queen d6, after e5 there is queen d4 check, and a4 knight is under attack, so this position looks very bad, takes, takes, I don't know, queen before the f6 pawn will befall uh, very soon. So queen d1 was played after queen d6, and now queen a3, and yeah, the game is just over, right? Rook c3, queen b4, and rook d3, b5, the knight uh, cannot go anywhere, right? Knight c3 maybe, but after knight c3, I think knight c5, and yeah, it looks 
just really terrible for, for white. Um, so we played move rook d4, now queen a3, and here I don't see any move for this knight, right? So that's it, e5, queen e3, now knight g4, and the game is over. After queen takes g4, just queen e1, checkmate on the board. So, ladies and gentlemen, Maxim Rochten does it again. Another very strong and active game by him in the first board of our Israeli national team. Just incredible game by Max. Unfortunately, our next boards did less good. Let's see it. So, Tamir Nabati, the Grandmaster Tamir Nabati from Israel against the Freedom Master Higor Lashkin. Let's see it. D4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d5, and now e3. Tamir Nabati is playing this line a lot. Uh, bishop e7, a3. As you can see, Tamir is very, very, you know, like special player. Also in the openings, he have a very interesting um, ideas. So a3 is one of them. Castle, b4, a5, b5, c5. And in this position, it's not so easy to understand because... You know, he playing the move d takes c5, but now knight bd7, and it looks like just black is doing perfect. He's bringing the knight to c5, grabbing the pawn back, and you know, as you can see, white didn't castle yet, and also didn't develop his, piece, his pieces. c6, takes, takes, knight c5, knight c3, uh, d takes c4, uh, I think also knight f e4 was a little bit interesting, because bishop f6 the next move, bishop a6, you know, all of the black pieces are doing just really active, but I'm not sure about white. So, for example, bishop b2 is looking maybe interesting, but queen b6 attacking, or maybe rook b8 with bishop f6, I don't know, I, if I was white here, I really was afraid. But he took on c4, uh, queen d8, rook d8, bishop c4, and now it seems like Tabiri is fine. Bishop a6, takes, takes, knight e4, e5, c7, rook c8, knight db5, just knight e6, taking the pawn. And you know, this position is a very equal position. They are playing some moves here, but I don't think that's something very terrible. Maybe here was some, some initiative after rook uh, bb1, of course, because the, the rook is under attack. Uh, but as you can see here, you can also play such a move like, I don't know, h3, for example, because after bishop takes before, just a takes before, and this is game over, because the rook cannot go here, 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 so we are just winning. So he played the move bishop e3, this was his point, just, you know, like bishop takes before is a, th is a very big blunder, so let's see. But he played the move bishop c5, and now rook d1 was played. Uh, you know, bringing the rook, I, I think that Chesscom just uh, putting here, uh, you know, like um, a, a brilliant move because you just give this exchange, right? Uh, but of course, black doesn't do it. Takes, takes, h5, h4, rooks a8, rook d6. This position looks very drawish. You know, everything is under control for white and also for black. You know, Tamir um, tried to do something here, but nevertheless, you know, it's it just draw and yeah they repeated three times and this is the first draw in in a while for Tamir Nabati I think right uh, because he every single game is playing for win and maybe lose but you know he's just incredible player and he's playing for three uh, results but this game was and by a draw uh, in the second board so until now we have one and a half for Israel against half for Moldova. Let's go for the third game. We have Grandmaster Ilya Smirin with the black pieces against the legend also, Viktor Bologan, Grandmaster from Moldova. E4, C5, Knight, C6, and they are playing here the uh, Rouser variation. So, Queen, D2, A6, F3, E6, La Long Castle, Knight, X, D4, Queen takes, Bishop, E7, H4, you know, so much theory here and you know so much games you can really learn it for both sides it's really interesting i think and uh, so i really recommend you b5 you know white is trying to play in the uh, queens the king side of course while black will try to play in the queen side because we have like uh, different um, castles right so white castle to the long side and uh, sh you know black castle to the short side so let's see g4 you can see that b5 g4 uh, very in intense uh, positions and also very cal calculation is very important here. Rook b8 was played, uh, king b1, and now queen c7. I I'm not sure why not to play b the move b4. And after knight a2, for example, I don't know, a5 also, a4, b3. You know, you must play it very fast. But as you can see, um, Ilyas Mirren is very strong. 
I, I must admit, in such positions. And he played them with queen c7, queen d2, and now b4, and now a5. Bishop e3 was played. The, the plan was just to push knight g3 with g5, h5. And yeah, this is very important maneuver with bishop to e3 to bring the opportunity to play with this g pawn. Bishop b5 was played, knight f4, now takes, takes, and knight e7. I like that Ilias Mirren is not, not doing castle yet, you know. These Sicilian openings are very important to understand. You must play on each move, right? You don't have time because maybe you will put checkmate or maybe your opponent will put you checkmate. So 97 and black is not a uh, hurry to do a castle and I like it. G5 and now castle, as I said, it's it's a little bit, uh, you know, funny to, to look on this. I'm not sure about castling, I, I must admit, maybe 95, maybe A4. You, you, you can wait uh, another move with castle, but castle B3, uh, rook FC8, I like this move, bringing the, the last rook into the game. Bishop D4 and now knight E5. Also A4 was interesting move here because you really want to, to open this king on b1 as soon as you can but he let him move knight e5 knight h5 now bishop f8 because f4 was the threat with the attacking uh, on g7 bishop f8 f4 knight c6 bishop b2 and now knight a7 uh, this interesting maneuver to bring this knight to b5 and c3 or a3 but also here i'm not sure that you have time for it maybe you can take a rook a8 queen a5 trying to do something in this line or maybe in this file so yeah, I don't know, knight a7 maybe is a little bit um, slowly move. f5, knight b5, takes, takes, and now knight f4. Here was an interesting move for white g6 immediately. After h takes g6, knight f4 with double attack here, and yeah, it's it's not so easy to, to play because white is a little bit faster than black. He played the move knight f4 immediately, attacking the pawn on e6. Rook e8 was just, uh, you know, to cover this one, g6, h6, and now rook f3, this was a mistake, knight takes e6, just winning absolutely immediately, rook takes, and now queen d5, uh, attacking the rook, of course rook b8, not so good because of uh, queen takes b5, so queen d7, rook f7, and, and yeah, this position is just losing because you can't go anywhere, right, bishop e7, just rook g7, uh, okay, rook e7, just, I don't know, checkmate in, in two, right, so, so yeah, it's it's a bad position after queen e8, maybe I think rook df1, yeah, just attack this bishop. So, so white is really doing um, unbelievable here. Um, and yeah, rook f3 was a mistake, knight e6 was much better. Rook f3, now queen c6 was played, knight h5, and now rook b c8. Rook f7, and now queen e4 was the mistake. Knight a3 was an interesting move, because you really want to uh, to move out from this uh, diagonal, very strong diagonal, this bishop. And if he's going for king c1, just queen takes c2 and checkmate on the board. And if he's playing the move king a1, just knight c2, king b1 and coming back. So, I don't know, it's it looks terrible for him. Maybe queen e4, maybe you're putting checkmate uh, by your side. But after knight a3 here, I think just bishop takes a3, b takes a3. And this position not so easy because, you know, the g7 pawn, okay, for now it's fine. After queen d4, for example, you can't play it because queen c2. And also, I have always the e5 move. And also here, queen c rook c7, rook e7. I don't know, I'm not sure that I'm losing absolutely immediately. So, it's, it's interesting. Also, black will try to play queen c5, queen e5, right? Queen c5, queen e5, and queen b2. And this is very important square for the queen. So he played the move queen e4, uh, you know, with 15 minutes on the clock. Uh, Ilias Miro, rook g1 was played now by Victor Bologan. He's trying to attack with all his pieces, but also this one was a mistake. Of course, it's very difficult to play in such time trouble and also in such a um, very, um, you know, complicated position. But knight g7 was the best here. After, I don't know, I thought knight c3 maybe to play. But knight c3, for example, bishop takes, b takes, and knight e8. This was the point after c takes d2, knight f6, king h8, and I don't like to, to take this queen, just rook h7, checkmate on the board. So, yeah, it's not so easy, of course, to, to find some tactics uh, with three minutes on the clock, but he played the move rook g1 in this position, unfortunately, um, you know, uh, Ilias Mirren did a very large mistake. He played the move rook e7 uh, after seven minutes. The best here was to play knight a3 check. Uh, of course, in the same uh, idea, just to, to bring out, to, to remove this bishop from this just unbelievable diagonal. 
So after bishop takes a3, just b takes a3, and I don't see how white will put checkmate here, because queen h6 is not working because of here mate, right? So you cannot do something um, very terrible for me, and it looks like I have a4, queen e5, so much lines here, uh, you know, and really good position for black. Rook e7 was a mistake, and I, oh, sorry, 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 queen f2. This was uh, the best move in the position by Victor Bologan. Now so many threats, knight f6, I, I don't know, bishop takes g7, rook takes e7, queen f7. Yeah, just bringing the opportunity for white. Rook e c7, just rook f1. And yeah, this position is just a totally mess here. Knight f3, king a1, and the position was lost by Ilyas Mirin. He resigned here. Of course, after queen takes h5, just queen h8 check, king g6, and rook f6. Checkmate on the board, just beautiful with these three pieces. Uh, yeah, what can we say? So after king a1, the game was over. Of, of course, after knight takes c3, two, just king b2, and there is no checks for black. So Ilyas Mirin in the third board of this match lost to Victor Bologan. Let's go for the last board. And the very important, we have one and a half for Israel against one and a half of Moldova. Let's see it very fast. D4, knight f6, c4, g6. Evgeny Posny, Grandmaster from Israel against Grandmaster from Moldova. We have Vyorel, Vyorel Lo, Lord Dace Soko. I hope I uh, somehow said it right. So the King's Indian defense, bishop e2, knight a6, and now bishop e3 was played after 9 minutes, uh, you know, knight a6 probably was not in the preparation of Evgeny. Bishop e3, e5, d5, knight h5, and now d, knight e2, maybe g3, you know, like to, to just um, avoid from knight f4, but also knight e2, you know, uh, Evgeny is very uh, familiar with, with such positions. I hope, I hope he's doing it perfect. Bishop f1, f5, knight b3. I, I understand this move, just not to, to bring the opportunity to play knight c5. But overall, yeah, it's maybe a little bit um, slowly. Knight b3, queen e8 was played. Maybe knight b4 here. Interesting move for black because after a3, the point is that you have knight bd3, bishop takes and knight g2. And this is very not easy for this king to play. King d2 and f4. And the bishop is under attack here. And yeah, this position looks very terrible for white. So it's not so easy, of course, to, to look for this one, but knight before was a very strong move for, for black. He played the move queen e8, a3, uh, you can see prophylactic move by Evgeny Posny, b6, queen c2, bishop d7, long castle, f takes, knight takes, knight c5, knight bd2, it makes sense, a5, of course, to bring the a4, and also this square on b3 will be weak. Rook e1, a4, h4, white is... He's struggling and really wants to to bring some uh, some sorry some hope for uh, the attack. Rook b8 now g3 knight h5 and now bishop g2. Maybe bishop e2 was a little bit better because in here he's doing more right and also attack the h5 uh, knight. So I don't know maybe but bishop g2 also looks fine. Bishop f5 king b1 knight takes knight takes and um, yeah and b5 and this is looks very terrible for for Evgeny because you know the, the b file will open and it's not so easy to handle by king a2 b4 takes takes and yeah this position just losing absolutely uh, bishop c3 queen b8 bishop h3 queen b6 takes takes knight d2 e4 amazing move by black after knight takes b3 a takes queen takes and rook a e uh, rook a8 of course and the queen is just lost so yeah, he's playing very strong, I must admit, black, uh, bishop takes g7, knight takes c5, queen b4, rook e3, here maybe was just queen b7, or maybe queen a5, but queen b4 also makes sense, I must admit, rook e3, just rook a8, c takes, c takes, and now rook d1 was played, now maybe was the, the chance to play g4, and to try to have some counterplay here, um, but... I don't know, it seems very interesting for both sides, but I, I think like should have been better for black. I don't know how, but 
it looks like that the initiative is stronger for black. But he, Evgeny doesn't have time here. And he played the move rook d1 with the only one minute in the clock. Knight e8 and now knight f6. A very strong move to bring this knight to d5, to g4, to control these squares. And yeah, rook c8 takes, takes. King g7, queen c2, and now rook d3. And yeah, white doesn't have any moves here. Queen c7, king g6, h5, now g4 takes. And yeah, knight f6 coming back, controlling every single square. As you can see, it's just amazing. Yeah, this knight is did his job. Rook g1 takes, rook takes, knight takes, and yeah, this position was lost for Grandmaster Evgeny Posny. Unfortunately, Israel lost this match against Moldova. Two and a half for Moldova against one and a half for Israel. I really hope for some miracle in the two last rounds for the Israeli national team. And I must, say, I must say, good luck for the Israeli women's team today. It's really interesting and uh, important match for them against Bulgaria, I think. So if you like this video, subscribe my channel and smash that like button for more chess content. See you soon in the next videos. Bye. Bye.